members, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, weighing in 135 pounds. vacant bantamweight title between two very very experienced amateurs Alex Badui now out of Team Rhino taking on Dara Tolman out of New Era this Phil is a rematch from Clan Wars 24 that was back in April of 2016 so essentially we've got two completely different fighters here yeah, we've got Dara Tillman and Alex Badui. These these guys are elite level bantamweights. They, I think, are both on the verge of turning pro, and this is the kind of fight that could headline any card. Badui, just for the viewers, is in the black and blue. Tillman is in the black and yellow. Badui, a former flyweight champion here at Clam Wars, and as everyone will know, Dara Tillman, a former bantamweight champion here. Now both contesting for the vacant bantamweight title. Worth noting as well, Alex is a veteran of this cage, and he's almost like the Donald Cerrone of Irish amateur MMA. He'll take a fight anytime, anywhere, any weight class, but he has moved. Kokoro Gym that he was with has closed, and he's now under the tutelage of Andy Ryan at Team Rhino. So, be interesting to see if there's any difference in how he approaches, how he fights, but good exchange so far by both men in the center of the Clan Wars cage. Both men illustrating their striking arsenal. Alex is keeping that right hand up high to the chin. Looks for the takedown, but it's great defense from Dara Tolman. Turns into it, Tolman. And ends up in the top position. And he needs to be wary of leaving his leg here. And looking, of course, Paul Reds or Redmond in the corner of Alex Vidui now. So get ready for Footlock City. He's scoped for a calf cross there. He needs to be wary of bringing that leg across, cutting it across the thigh of Tolman, as that's not legal in amateur mixed martial arts. It needs to be a straight lock if you're doing anything lower limb. Back up to his feet. Both fighters high output so far. You really notice the difference after a lot of welterweight bouts tonight and crowning of the welterweight champions. It's like we're watching the bantamweights and fast forward. I like the levels I'm seeing from Darto when he's working the body and then coming up, uh, then coming up top. He's diversifying with the hands. And with the legs, it would seem. And Alex just keeping that right hand up, almost like he, he knows something that Dara Tolman wants to throw. Nice crisp double jab here. Spin with the fist, but Alex was fully aware and out of there. Finishes nicely with the inside leg kick there, Alex Badui. Dara catches the leg, kicks, punches, kicks. Excellent balance by Alex, and lands a nice right hand that while balancing on one leg here. Looking for the standing guillotine. Dived into it, but he you want to let that go now in this position. Yeah, you leave yourself susceptible to the Von Flu choke. But I don't think Dara has quite enough space. In the corner, just calling for Alex to retain half guard. And Tolman stands back up, and Alex is looking to gonna try and stand back up himself if the, Tolman allows it. Alex, that's twice now we've seen him sort of clasp around the leg of Tolman, so perhaps that's something he's drilled in camp, is that lower limb submission, the calf crush perhaps. Looks to stand up, but again, Tolman just staying above him and not allowing him that opportunity. Looking to chop the legs here to finish the opening round. Punch the leg, the peculiar end to the first round, but fast paced first round for the bantamweight title here at Clan Wars 34 in the Crown Plaza in Belfast. We're going to see a second round here at Clam Wars 34 for the vacant bantamweight title. Alex Bowie taking on Dara Tolman. Really tightly contested contest, or tightly contested fight thus far. Man, just trying to establish a foothold in the second round. I've noticed Badui working that double jab a couple of yeah. times, and I really like that because the jab is perhaps the most underutilized punch in mixed martial arts. It sets up a myriad of follow-on strikes. What I like what he's doing as well, when he, he comes in and gets close, he finishes with the kick. 
This time he starts with the kick and Tolman just tried to land it. Counter right. Again, that lovely level work from Dara Tolman. Body lock and Tolman gets it down. Alex just gets up into his half guard, ties it up. Good work here from Dara Tolman using the shoulder, using those shoulder strikes just to pop in and irritate Alex Badui, who still maintains his half guard here. Dara Tolman with an underhook on his right side, has opened up a cut just on the side of the eye of Alex Badui. It's not bothering him right now because he's on his back, but standing up, that cut could cause problems, Noel Keefe. It's above the eye as well, so it'll be interesting to see what way the cut is because the blood could just flow into the eye when they're back up, as you said. Alex Badu is showing his flexibility right now. Dara Tolman does the right thing, gets himself out of danger. Just slips on a little bit of sweat on the man, and Tolman tries to take advantage of that. Alex changes level and gets a good takedown Great off that. Double leg. Dara Tolman closes the guard. Do just using head pressure there to control the body of Dara Tolman. Perhaps needs to just slip that head a little bit lower. They look to create a post here and land strikes. You'd like to think that Badui, he spent a little bit of time on his back here, so he'll want it. Leaving him pressure for the judges here. We've seen the judges earlier on tonight. A little bit of an ooh went around the crowd in that McConway McGee fight where it was scored. Split decision win for McGee. So I think what that tells us is the judges need to see you work definitively. So Dewey just sitting in the garden, hasn't advanced as of yet, and Tolman is doing well to nullify the advance. He's got a foot on the hip here. He may be looking to shift his hips and set something up, maybe work an angle for an armbar or a triangle off his back. Looking for the arm. Good work by Dewey and beautifully steps into the full mount, but trying to the get string. the body, but Tolman reverses in the, in the scramble for the better position. And the sheer strength of Tolman right there, he just bided his time and worked wonderfully in the scramble to land in an advantageous dominant position. Needs to be wary of the rubber guard game of Alex Badui. We've seen slight flashes over here, slight flashes of his flexibility. And there's always going to be a danger when you have that flexibility. Good left hands landed by Tolman on top and just seamlessly passes. I commented about a minute ago, Phil, about Badui will want to leave a lasting impression on the judges, but the big impression made is it is Tolman getting up off Alex Badui, who was on the bottom. And that does, no matter what, leave it, the, that's the lasting impression of the round. Correct, yeah. Well, that's twice now. That's two rounds. Just waiting on the cage door to be closed, coming into your third round for your vacant Bantamweight Clan Wars title. Potentially Dara Toman, two up on the scorecards. Again, that's unofficial, so Alex Badui, he's been in this position before, he's been in this cage before, so he knows what's needed to be done to become a champion at Clan Wars and potentially needs to finish to get that tonight, Phil. And this has shades of the first fight which happened three years ago. We've seen dominance from Dara Toman just uh, out-muscle Alex Badui, who perhaps is a natural flyweight. I think that might be fair to say. But as we've alluded to, so game has fought up as high as featherweight and contested for the featherweight title. So that just illustrates how game he is when it comes to the fight. Dara just pressing the weight against Alex Badui here, forcing him to carry the weight, wearing on him. Just enough to keep himself active. Changes levels, maybe in on the double leg takedown. There it is. Excellent work by Darren Tolman. Really showcasing his different skills so far tonight, but this is where he's been winning the fight, Phil. It's really been about embracing that grind for Darren Tolman, just establishing a dominant position. But look, Alex Padui has the rest here, maybe looking to set up the triangle. This is always dangerous, is Alex Padui. He's always looking for fight ending sequences and be the submission. We've seen it earlier tonight, the pull from the fire, Sean Corrigan victory. So, Darren Tolman needs to be careful of the submission game off the back of Alex. Playing rubber guard again here. But what I like Dara Tolman doing this time is every time he fails that rubber guard attack, he decides, no, I don't want any of that, and intelligently steps away. Expect to see Alex really try to put the pressure on, but that forward momentum will allow Dara Tolman to do exactly what he's done here, Phil, will be the 
get the body of Alex, put him up against the cage and force him to grapple where Toman has been Absolutely. the successor in all of these. Again, it's, it's, it's like lather, rinse, repeat in this fight. Press against the cage, establish the takedown and work from there. Again, as we've seen earlier, it's about following a game plan that plays to your strengths. Toman, he's got a feel. He's a couple of minutes away from getting that Clan Wars title wrapped around his waist. Again, showing his flexibility by, by using the, almost trying to use that crucifix position from the half guard. And he is happy to sit in that half guard. Again, we, we spoke about this on numerous occasions through Clan Wars cards, that the fighters are happy to sit in this position. He can really control what your opponent does off his back. And that's what Darrett Toman is doing here in the third and final round of this title fight. Just widening his base there to keep his hips low and maintain the pressure on Alex Badu. He's also ramping up the volume of strikes he's landing now, which is going to pay dividends in the eyes of the judges. Here's your 10 second clapper and big shots. He's heard that, so he knows he hasn't got much left. Might empty the fuel tank here with big shots. Leaving no doubt for the judges. There it is. We go to distance. Darrett Soman reacts to his corner to the crowd. I think that's a confident man expecting to hear and now. He looks confident, but as we know, nothing is guaranteed when we go to the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, please have an appreciation for both fighters. Yeah. 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 Yeah.